The following is a dramatization of Darkest Dungeon Presents, a series of single-page comics depicting the backstories of the fighters in Darkest Dungeon. I would strongly recommend checking them out before watching this video. There will be a link to the entire collection in the description. Enjoy! In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. These words come from the lips of your ancestor, the man who summoned you to this light-forsaken estate. The man who unleashed the very scourge you wish to repel. You seek to purge this land of an evil you cannot even begin to comprehend. Commendable. But this task cannot be attempted, much less accomplished alone. There are those willing to fight on your behalf, but do not mistake them for heroes. This hamlet calls not the virtuous and honorable. The corruption of this land hungers for the corrupt. These men and women are broken and sinful. In this place, one can have no camaraderie, only alliances, tumultuous as they may be. These warriors cannot be trusted, but within this pack of wolves lies the faintest of hope. Come, it is time to learn what madness drives these fools to their doom. Each of us on this fool's errand is cursed, this man more so than most. He is afflicted, possessed, desecrated cursed with an unceasing rage, rage which burns and consumes, man becomes beast. This man was tortured and mutilated by sanctimonious sadists. This man was broken. This beast was enraged. And now this man, this beast, this abomination comes here, to a place where such a curse may indeed be a blessing. Evil envelops all who come here. This man knows evil. His life one of avarice, of wanton brutality. In search of riches, he lies in wait, stalking his prey. The Cobra strikes! Men fall to the cold embrace of the Abyss. None stand in his way. The Highwayman has traveled this wicked path and executed scores of innocent men. And one woman. And one child. <laughs> It seems even the most wicked may seek absolution. This man is an asset. Use him wisely. The raging inferno of war has consumed strong and weak alike. This man has confronted his foes and found them wanting. Neither arrows, nor the cold flash of steel, nor the bombastic bombardment of cannon fire could topple him. The same cannot be said of his companions. The resilience of a giant amounted to naught in the end. This soldier, this man-at-arms, survived hellfire only to be greeted by scorched plains. And so he seeks a greater purpose. We have already encountered affliction. Here we encounter it again. Even the most powerful, the most loved, are susceptible to the ravages of disease and desiccation. The unyielding rot has set deep within this man's body and soon shall consume him. To spare his people, a king abandons them in search of his final rest. Perhaps this leper shall succumb to his fate. Perhaps he shall die valiantly on the field of battle. It matters not. When his heart stops beating, he ceases to be a boon, irrespective of cause. Many of your allies are broken by their own misdeeds. This one has been broken by the misdeeds of others. She was nary more than a girl when the Horde came. Enraged by perceived slight, they came, and they pursued the man who slighted them. He knew there would be no true justice. A crossbow and a distraction were his final benefactions. Years on, the honed arbalist comes to this hamlet, seeking to carve a path of honor, a memorial to her shattered past. Who is this mysterious figure? This woman comes to us, inept in the art of combat, but gifted in the art of acquisition. A useful ally, if unconventional. But what purpose brings her to this damned refuge? Her past holds a ritual. A sacrifice. Treachery. Her true purpose? <laughs> it is best if you never have a chance to learn. Consider her but a humble antiquarian, blinded by greed if you value your sanity. In this world, the mighty may fall. The appearance of wealth helps not those left behind after an untimely demise. The devil always collects his due. This woman was never wealthy, though twasn't self-evident. Her husband was cursed, as are we all. He was partial to the bones. Unfortunately, his skill did not match his passion. He maintained his lifestyle by borrowing coin. She was shouldered with the burden. She was but a cornered rat, forced to strike in desperation. 
the rings on his fingers. A family heirloom, one of true value. On the eve of her imminent destruction, she turned to thievery of the departed. She obtained those illustrious trinkets at the cost of becoming a grave robber. Such is the tragic tale of the financially encumbered. Oh? Well, perhaps there is some thrill in these endeavors. Most men yearn for contentment, for purpose, for wealth. This man lusts for power, whatever the cost. His existence an unending expedition towards the abyss. This persistence yielded results. The eldritch horrors heard his pleas and were satisfied. They gave him power, power no mortal being should possess. Use this man, this occultist. Arcane sorcery is quite the useful tool in combat, but do not be so foolish as to turn your back lest your blood fuel his next ritual. This is an unusual sight, is it not? A warrior of the light here in this wretched landscape. This man rended Fletch, impaled the heathens for his holy war. A once simple peasant distinguishes himself on the field of battle and truly epitomizes the title Crusader. Through combat he has achieved excellence, brotherhood. Through conquest he tastes victory for the first time. But when the war is won, when your foes lie slain at your feet, when you come to see your son, now nearly a grown man, will the thirst for war ever truly subside? Some men are complex. This man is quite simple. Give him a target and he will retrieve it, dead or alive, for a cost. Indeed, this man has had quite the successful career as a bounty hunter, and it made him quite the formidable obstacle. But what happens when a foolhardy baron puts a bounty on the hunter? It's quite simple. To cancel a bounty, you must cut off the head of the snake, terminate the contract at its source. Give this man his next target, and surely his arrival shall be fortuitous. For what purpose is a man of the law approaching this hellscape? This man and his canine companion have an illustrious reputation for detective work. A man of honor, he has uncovered dastardly deeds most foul. He sought out a lost maiden, kidnapped by an unknown adversary. The olfactory capabilities of his partner led him straight to the hornet's nest. The Houndmaster sees this nest and kicks, and inside, the maiden lies dead, and her tormentor, the law. A man of medicine delivers a lecture. One student proves voracious in her search for anatomical prowess, her thirst for knowledge unquenchable. Through study and vivisection, this woman has become quite the expert on mortality. But what happens when that aging doctor succumbs to an ailment beyond his skills? Well, it seems our little plague doctor seeks not to heal, but simply to learn. Once deceased, even the most accomplished proved not more than another specimen. Many a man have been known to seek absolution within the penance hall. The strike of the whip is said to cleanse body and soul of sin. Few, however, enjoy this practice. Once a humble beggar, this man sought life through the generosity of his beggars. Some barbarous louts did not take kindly to this. Through his beating, he found his sanctity. Through his own sanguine nectar, he forgave his attacker. The flagellant has found his calling and now seeks to cleanse the world. Some of your new companions deal in death. None of them are so cruel as to deal in life. And yet, such men exist. This woman, a slave to be bought and sold like the trinkets in your possession. Ah, but trinkets don't rebel, do they? A well-timed attack and her captors lie dead, and she lies trapped. Her arm has been immobilized, an adder approaches, and strikes! As the venom progresses, she must make a choice. Die alone, but avenged, or sever her limb and obtain freedom. That this shieldbreaker stands before you should be all the answer you need. All who come here are fools. This man takes it quite literally. The fool exists to be mocked, to sing, dance, and act, well, the fool. But what of the audience who turns from mockery to torment? When a man of merriment is attacked and sent spiraling into madness, what becomes of this cruel crowd? Well, I shan't go into detail, but suffice it to say, this jester gave quite the memorable performance. The barbarians are renowned and reviled for their savagery. Their raids wreak havoc on the surrounding landscape. Through unparalleled brutality, they sustain themselves on the labor of others. 
but not every battle ends in victory. It appears that one patrol in particular were quite prepared for the onslaught. In this clash, the barbarians were repelled as one ferocious, mighty, powerful Hellion quietly cowered. The Sisterhood of the Light is a noble calling. To tend to the Sacred Flame is a great honor, but with great honor comes responsibility, integrity, chastity, loyalty. All of these are prerequisites to join the Sisterhood. Alas, the temptations of the flesh indeed corrupt even the most holy. Burning desires led this lamb astray. This devout servant willingly forsook her maidenhood and in doing so allowed the sacred flame to be snuffed. There is no redemption for such heresy, but perhaps this disgraced Vestal can still serve the light in the internal struggle against the darkness. Here we have an expert sharpshooter of some renown. It is likely you are familiar with the exploits which have proven an unrivaled dexterity. But for what reason does she come here? Hers is an unmatched focus, which is perhaps to be credited for her remarkable marksmanship. It was a tournament. In a moment of utmost focus, she saw beyond. Yes, it is the very amalgamation that plagues us in this land, the very obscenity that your dear ancestor has unleashed on this disturbed world. It is no wonder this musketeer missed her shot. These are your allies, all flawed, all wanting. Half would bury their blades in your neck with the slightest of provocation. Yet they are your only tools in this unholy crusade. Best of luck to you.